Hello everyone, today we will learn how to share new WordPress post on Pinterest. Now if you have created a post on your WordPress website and you want the same post to be created in Pinterest as well, so you don't need to do that work manually over and over again because you can create an automation with the help of Pabli Connect to do this work easy and in a simple way. In this integration, our trigger will be the new post published in WordPress and our action will be that created pin in Pinterest. Let us learn how to do it. So let us learn that how can you create Pinterest pins every time you upload a new post in your WordPress account. So we will be creating this automation with the help of Pabli. Let us quickly sign in into our account so that I'll reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. And we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation today. Click on access now that is given under Pabli Connect. And then you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect where you can see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow that you are going to create. I am going to name it as Share WordPress post as Pinterest pins. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. One box has trigger and the other has action written over it. Now trigger means when this happens and action means do this. So whenever in your trigger application, when this trigger takes place that you are going to choose over here, the action application will perform or do this action that you will be assigning right here. So the trigger application for today's workflow is going to be WordPress because once you create a post in your WordPress account, automatically action application that is Pinterest will create a pin for that. So the trigger event is going to be new post published. Click on the event and then Pabli Connect will provide you this webhook URL which you are going to use to integrate WordPress and Pabli Connect. Follow these instructions. We are going to perform them right now. So go to your WordPress account. First of all, you have to go to plugins that is given over here in your left side panel and go to add new. After you reach here, you see a keyword search plugins over here. Type WP webhook over there and let it go for a search. It will come up with this WP webhooks that's given to your right. Create powerful automation workflows directly within WordPress. You see it's already installed in my account. Yeah. And you have to install it before you can connect or follow these instructions over here. Once this is done, then now go to settings over here. And because you have installed it already, it will be visible over here in the last section of your settings. Click on WP webhooks and then it will open up. So you have to click on send data here on the top. After send data is opened over here, you will be having all the trigger list that you might have created earlier in your account. So you have to choose scroll down in your panel here left side post created. So all the triggers that have been applied over here for creating a post are visible to you. Now click on add webhook URL that's given right over here and then name this webhook. So I'm going to name it as this is the name and in this section you have to copy this URL given in your workflow in Pabli Connect and paste it right here. Once you do this, click on add for post create and a new webhook will be added over there. So now this is added. Now you have to do one more setting. Scroll down and come to the end to the newly created webhook by you. Go to the, these three dots menu settings and then you have to select at what action or what event this webhook is going to work. So select post. It has to work on a post and the post has to be published. So post published is the event and then you will come down and click on save settings. So by clicking on save settings, you have completed your instruction C over here. And now Pabli Connect is waiting for a response. So now you have to create a post. So click on new post. And remember that this time you have to create a post along with the picture because you have to create a pin in your Pinterest account, which is a very much requirement of a picture. Now I'm going to give it a title. This is my title. This is my content and then I have to add a picture as well that I have already downloaded in my account or my system. So you scroll down and come to this top bottom right corner over here where it's written set featured image. So click on the set featured image. It will provide you a lot of a big list of all the pictures that have been here. So I'll go to upload files because I'm going to select a file from my computer and this is the one I'm selecting. Open it. Let it load. And then when this option is available, set featured image, click on this button on your bottom right corner. It's here. Click on the button and then your image will be featured. See, it's featured over here. Once this is done, you have to check that yes, the title is done, the content is done and the picture is also done. 
So click on publish that is given to your right. You have to wait for the response over here in your Pabli Connect. See, we have the response over here. All the details are here. If you scroll down, you will find all the things that you have entered while creating that post. What does the moon stands for? This is the title. Then we have the content and then you will be having a thumbnail link that is going to be the link for your picture that you will be using to enter in the image URL section of your Pinterest. It's here. This is the post thumbnail. So now when this is done, which means that our response has been successfully captured. Now we will move on to our action application that is Pinterest. So enter your application as Pinterest. And your action event is going to be create a pin, connect, add new connection and connect with Pinterest. It will automatically detect. You just have to give access so that Pabli Connect can give command to Pinterest to create the post with the information that it, this workflow has received from the trigger application. So now, now you have to select your board, your board section ID and other details that are generally required to create a pin in your Pinterest. So the board is there. You go to your account and then you will see the boards that have been created over here. I'm going to select this new board right here. So the board is selected already. Then the board section ID. If you have a board section ID, then you can select that. If you don't have it, just map it and leave this field open. Now you're supposed to map the details. How are you going to map? When you click on any empty field in your action application window, then you will see it will ask you to insert data from your previous step. So in that case, you will be given this drop down menu that has the list of all the responses that you have received from your trigger application. So you just have to either scroll down and find your content or you can just type in your search and map data. What are you looking for? For example, we are looking for an image URL and we just discussed that the thumbnail link is the one that we have to enter over here. So just type thumbnail and see over here content uploads and this is the name of the picture. So you just click there and this is the name of that picture. So the link is correct. Now in case of title. So again type in the search and map data. What does the moon stands for? This is the title. The description is the content. So type over here and the moon signifies and all that detail is over here. So everything else is here. Nothing else is left over here. Also check for the required fields. Image and title was the required field that we have successfully filled. No other required field is left empty. You can also fill the alt text and image link as per your requirement, but we don't require it right here in this workflow. Click on save and send test request and wait for the response from Pinterest. And here the pin has been created. Okay. So now scroll down and check for any error. If there is any error, you can correct it then and there. If it does not have any error, save this workflow over here and then go to Pinterest to check that have we created a pin over here. Refresh it again. And over here you can see this is the picture we just uploaded and this is the content over here, which means that we have successfully created a post. So just do a quick recap that our trigger application was WordPress. We created a new post. The event was new post published and the action application was Pinterest where we created a pin. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.